Tracy from Gift Basket Appeal, and today I'm going to make a masculine card. This is part of the Guy Card collaboration with 26 YouTubers, including myself. The video hop will run from May 23rd to June 5th, so make sure that you're tuning in every day from now until June 5th to see all of the wonderful creations. I also have some good news. We're doing a giveaway. So we've got three prizes, that's three winners in this collaboration. I'll post all of the details below. So let's get started. For each day of the video hop, we'll be naming a tool in Dad's toolbox. I have the letter E. So my tool in Dad's toolbox is an electric drill. I'm going to be making shirt and bow tie card. And this is the pattern that I want to use for my shirt. I really like the way the paper looks and it reminds me of Dad's shirt, like as if he's going for work um, with a bow tie. And so what I'm going to do is I want suspenders on here as well. And so I've got this thin ribbon that I'm going to use for suspenders. And so what I'm going to do is take my ruler and I just want to come about one inch away from the side. Just making a little mark there. Just one inch. And that way I can have my suspenders in the same spot. So however best you can do this, feel free to do it the way that makes you comfortable. And so I'm just going to put the edge of the ribbon right right there. And I think that'll make my suspenders far enough away. So I'm going to put one on this side and I'll put another one on this side. I'm going to take my suspender and go down that other side there, making it as straight as can be. I'm going to take that other side. So I've got one done. I'm going to do the other one also on this side. Just want to make sure they're somewhat even. This was such a fun card to make and um, I wish I came up with this idea myself but I can't take credit for that. Um, this was a Pinterest inspired card. I did see several of them done. And I thought this would be perfect. And this card can actually be a Father's Day card or it can be a masculine birthday card. Just straightening that up just to make sure it looks okay. And this is just some thin ribbon I had in my stash. just taping it there. Okay, and I will put the measurements of this card below in the description box. And so I think this is going to be great. I've got it all lined up. This is a wonderful collaboration, especially with masculine cards. Um, so many of the cards we see on YouTube are usually feminine. So it's nice to do something like this and have 26 different videos that will give you ideas for masculine cards. I'm just going to place this right here. 
sure that it's okay. And that's good. My suspenders are laying flat. Now what I'm going to do is to make the collar. And so with the collar, all I did was take the same pattern of paper and I just cut a strip across that measured the same. And so in order to make the collar show the pattern, I have to flip it over like this. So I'm just going to show you what I'm going to do. Let me just actually fold this on a black sheet so you can see. I made a mark at the center point here. And all I'm doing is I'm going to fold my collar down, taking that top tip and folding it to the center. And I'm going to crease it. Then I'm going to take the other side and let it meet up right at the center, just like that. So it's basically you're forming that collar. And I just marked it lightly with a pencil right in the center there so that I'd know where to fold it. And so there you have your collar. Now to make that collar stay, it's going to go like that. To make the collar stay, all I did was just put a little bit of glue right there and just a little bit right there. And that will actually make my collar stay down. And then it's actually ready to go on the shirt. So you see how that's going? It's starting to build that shirt. So you can do more than one thing with this. I'm going to just use my combo to glue it down, but you can mount it if you want it to give it a little bit more dimension. But I'm just going to glue this flat because I want my bow tie to have some dimension. And so if you notice now, I just came right down on the collar and I want this to be sticking above the top. So just a hint, you don't want to put any glue here. You want to keep the glue closer to the bottom when you're gluing it on. Okay, so now we've got our collar on. So it's starting to really come together. Now it's time to make the bow tie. And now there are a lot of patterns for bow ties, but what I decided to do was just kind of draw my own onto some patterned paper. And then I'm just going to cut it out. And I drew it in black so that it will have an outline so you can see it better. And I just wanted it in this darker, this darker color. Um, just kind of keeping it masculine, but you can get really fancy with this and you can do it in really bright colors if you wanted to. So now I got a bow tie. It's not perfect. I just hand drew it uh, myself. But if you're not comfortable doing that, you can find a lot of patterns on, on Google. And I want to mount this. So I'm going to put one here. One on each side. It should be enough. And then once I'm comfortable with what position I want it in, I think I'm just going to put it right, right above that collar. Make sure I got it positioned okay. Because I still want these two little edges of the collar sticking out below it. So I want it like that. So it kind of looks 3D-ish. 
see if you can see that. And so it's really coming together. Now what I need to do is add some buttons. And for the buttons, I decided to go ahead and hot glue them. I probably could mount them also, but I do want to hot glue the buttons on. And so I'm just going to put a little bit of hot glue actually on the paper. And I just want to come down the center. I'm not really measuring it. I'm just kind of, kind of seeing where I should put it. Just eyeballing it. And I'm putting four buttons on here, so Oop, not too much glue. And it's nice because you could actually change up with the colors of the buttons. You can make a odd colored shirt for dad, like a crazy looking shirt with some maybe some Hawaiian print on it. And you get really fancy with this. And these buttons, I bought like a pack of them because I like the color of them um, in the brown and it was like beige. I think it was about a 50 buttons for like 99 cents and I, I saw them at Walmart. So I thought these would be cute to add to my card. Okay, so it's starting to come together, but I need some type of label. And so what I, what I did was I took pieces of scrap from the shirt and I had some stickers here are actually the stickers that I used and the stickers looked a lot like um, they just got like a little bit of uh, shimmery like glitter on them and I thought this would be cute um, to put on the front of the card and these came from Walmart and they were only 99 cents but rather than just place it here, I want to actually make it look a little bit more like with a border on it. And so all I'm going to do is just, just taking this and putting it on here to give it a border. I think that would look much better. And I'm taking the same type of uh, pattern for the tie, for the bow tie. I'm using it for my backing for this. And I'm just going to cut it. And now I have an easy label. And I haven't even stamped yet. And so I'm going to use my mounting squares again because I want this to kind of stand out a little bit. I'm just going to put it on the back just to give it some more dimension. Don't forget, my word for today is electric drill. So keep watching those videos and collecting those words each day. And I am going to go ahead and put my label just right below that button. And press that on. And so look how adorable that is. And what I did was, since I'm going to use this as a birthday card, I put my sentiment on the inside, but you can easily use this uh, for a Father's Day card. And what I did was for my sentiment, I used uh, 
the Penny Black Sweet Wishes. I used um, Happy Birthday and May All Your Dreams Come True. So I used those stamps together along with the star. So, but you can use any sentiment. This can be a card for uh, congratulating someone also, or it can be a dad card or birthday card. So you have so many options with this. I hope you like this video. Please comment, subscribe if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, and like this video. Don't forget to get into that the giveaway with the three prizes. Um, this is a fun, fun idea. I'm really loving this collaboration. And thank you so much for tuning in. Bye.